final week of the regular season. It's the final episode of Ship Athletic Supporters. Let's go to the highlights. Baseball on Friday, Game 2, Cash Gladfelter in the bottom of the 10th inning. A game-tying RBI single against Millersville's Mike Mock. That ties the game at 1. And then Mike Marcinko, the next batter, lines a double down the right field line, and that scores the game-winning run. Shippensburg walks off in Game 2. They win 1 of 4 this weekend against Millersville and are still in 4th place in the PSAC East, the final playoff spot. Softball wrapped up their regular season with an awesome senior day sweep of East Stroudsburg by scores of 4-3 to three and 13-4. to four. And one of the really cool things about it was that the two seniors for Shippensburg, Bree Giovanko and Taylor Patillo, they both hit three run homers in their final games as Raiders. Lacrosse began a two-game road trip to finish its regular season. They were at Slippery Rock on Saturday, lost 11-7 to the Rock. Six different Raiders scored in the game. Sarah McLeod led Shippensburg with two goals in the match. Wednesday was the Shippensburg University Invitational, and it was a banner meet for the Raiders. Three new school records. Kayla Bartlett improved in the hammer for the fourth time. Tam O'Hara broke a six-year-old school record in the hammer throw. And Jalen Ramsey cleared seven, one, and three-quarters in the high jump. That's an automatic qualifier for Nationals, Perry. Perry. Dude, we got to get serious here. It's time for a performance review. Yes. Although this may seem like it's a low-budget production, in all reality, we do have producers and directors to report to, and it's time for our yearly review. Let's see if we make it to season two, I guess, right? Come on. Need to get a comb for you. So what do you think Mr. Jones wants to talk to us about? I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Yeah. It's just Mr. Jones. How could this be bad? Sit. Both of you. Get you big head. Show yours. You gotta ramp it up, man. You're the face of the program. You're everywhere. You, pretty guy? Come on, man. You guys gotta narrow it down. We gotta go through some clips here and get some stuff straight. The smart board? Right. Smart board. That's, yeah, it's the ship smart board. Sure, it's not a dumb board. Then, like, my kid's five and he's got an iPad. You guys can't get an iPad? I mean, who wrote on that? Was that crayon or marker? That was professional hieroglyphics. Really? Yeah, hmm. calligraphy. Yeah, I mean, you guys are really knocking on Sports Center's door with this technology. That's good. Yeah. So, what's in the works? Um, we, do, do you have any ideas, Mr. Bighead? He, well, well said, dude. Yeah. I mean, Can we try to keep Morgul off the floor next year? What is this, a CrossFit workout slash TV show? See? I'm on the floor again. Winners aren't on the mat getting pinned, man. They're standing up, getting their, getting their hand raised. Can we get a little more winning out of you? I'll try. Let's go. So, Perry, this was the episode where... You guys got into it with the umpire, right? Now look, right here, seriously, full on hot, right away. It's not even close to appropriate. You wanna know how you do it? Uh, okay. What's that umpire's name? Joey. All right, so you go out, you're like, Joey, man. So, you just kick my player out, what did he do? Right? You go, nice, nice, and then when Joey lets his guard down, then you go, then you go bananas on him. Umpires are people too. Seriously. They're nice guys. Look at that. You bumped them? Are you serious? Hey, you guys are like The Rock and Channing Tatum. I'm not saying that this is bad stuff. It's good stuff. But if this is going to keep going, I mean, Big Head's the man. Less pickle jokes, more content, probably more J.C. Morgan would help a lot. That's true. That guy's good. You know, if you're looking for help on things, Coach O across the hall has won, I mean, so many championships you can't even count them. All right, you're lucky he's not in here because he would probably be losing his mind on you guys. You guys really need to re-rack over the summer, maybe watch some clips of some other shows, get some fresh ideas, all right? And for God's sakes, can we keep Billy off the floor? It's time for Lessons with Ladney. So the reason they call it the high jump it's because the jumper has to jump really, 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 really high. 
Hence why it's called the high jump. This has been Lessons with Ledney. So you just got yelled at by Coach Jones. <sighs> He's a tough guy, isn't he? Pitcher Marcus Shippey, left fielder Dalton Hoyles of the Shippensburg baseball team. You guys got a big series coming up this weekend, Marcus. Bloomsburg, the last weekend of the season, and you're playing for a playoff spot. How big is this series going to be? I mean, you know, it's huge. I mean, you know, we practice all year for this. Um, you know, you just you know, try to treat it like a regular game and uh, don't think about the whole playoff spot being in it. Um, you know, we took one from uh, Millersville, Westchester, East Stroud. All right, that's enough. I'm awarded both sides. It's a warning. What? Dalton. So the lineup right now really starting to swing the bats. Well, where, where's the confidence at right now for the lineup? I mean, he said it was pretty much top, top to bottom. You know, we're just really confident of going into the, this week's matchup, and uh, hopefully our hitters do well, and you know our pitchers, our pitchers do what they're capable of. All right, Marcus, your catcher Jay Kennedy. You know, how, how well do you guys work together? You know, uh, you know, pitcher and catcher, the battery mates. All right, come on, boys, break this up. Let's go. Why did I go that long? How well do you guys work together? Yeah, I mean, we work together. Um, you know, I've been with him for you know three years. Uh, you know, we just we just understand each other, and uh, you know, we we work well together without you know having the struggles of pitch, uh, you know, different pitches we throw and stuff like that. You know, you have a couple of guys here that uh, don't don't talk a whole lot, but we're gonna ask the the three questions that we ask everyone. Uh, so first one would be uh, Reasoner or Kreiner? Kreiner. He said Kreiner. Kreiner. At Starbucks or Duncan? For me, Duncan. He said Duncan. And he's saying Starbucks. Do you like pickles or do you not like pickles? I do not like pickles. Yep, no pickles as well. Nah, he does not like pickles. Jake does not like pickles, all right? No, I warned you. You're gone. Really? I warned you. Really? That's so I, you can go too. What? What? That's ridiculous. Bro, it's been both sides. It's been both sides all game long. I warned I, you. I, 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 I warned you. We met you earlier in the I season. Warned you. You're the worst. Umpire you in, the in the you conference! In the conference! In the conference! No! I told you! What? Do you want another suspension? Number 35. Number 35. That's the fastest I've ever seen a rubber duck thrown. So, apparently, people did not realize that last week when we did the schedule from Scenes from a Big Head that it was entirely improvised, which it was. So, we're gonna maybe do that again this week, Perry? Braden, Brandon, and Joey have no clue what they're going to do in this week's schedule. Oh yeah, today, women's lacrosse travels to Bloomsburg at three. We're going to snap them like Slim Jims. Oh, we have baseball is at, is at Bloomsburg on Friday and at home, at home on Saturday. Both doubleheaders are at one o'clock. So we have the Paul Kaiser Classic starting at 8.30 on Saturday. Will you track and field with me? Trax, what time is it? It's time for the start of the week. Let's take a look, Perry. The results from this year of our survey of our student athletes. Kreiner, the finer diner, beating Reasoner 10 to 7. Starbucks coming through with a close win over Duncan. And yes, Pickles 10. No pickles seven. Pickles are trash. Yes. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what your audience is, um, that's the end of this season of Ship Athletic Supporters. We'll be back it's in the fall real. for season two. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. See ya.